Viewers of the Tube, thanks for tuning into the channel for Series 2 of the Lion Knight's Castle Mirror Build and Modifications. In this episode, not only can we see the completed mirror built Lion Knight's Castle, but we're going to dive into a couple different options of how I could modify this. So let's not waste any more time and dive straight into it. The way they're sitting right here right now, I actually kind of like. Two separate entrances could be useful when defending the castle. And all I'd really have to do is do a little bit more rock work and some more water out front. But ultimately, I'd like to combine them and have it one physical structure. But at the same time, nothing's set in stone. So if you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Take a look, see what we can come up with and go from there. Because ultimately, I'd like to take out these trees, take out this one side, this one side, so that the drawbridges are combined and it's actually one big drawbridge. I don't even know if that's physically possible, but it would be fun. But we got options. So let's dive into those now and see what you guys think is the best solution the best path that I should be going down. So option one was modifying these so that we have one drawbridge, which would be about what, 12 studs wide? Jumping in to option number two, join them and make this one tower. Knock off these little handles, maybe move them to the other side, again, if it's physically possible. Make one tower in the middle it still leaves us with two entrances again which is great for defending the castle against them pesky black falcons a little bit more rock work in the middle if we really wanted to we could do a bridge over the water to combine both these incline ramps but it take a little bit from the defense of the castle i feel like this is option number two, not shabby. Let's jump into option number three, where we're gonna move left to right and right to left. Let's check it out. There we go. We've now moved the left castle to the right and the right castle to the left. I don't even know if that makes sense, but that's what I did. And this is how it is. Not too shabby, again. I'm really digging this, keeping the two separate entrances to the castle. The only problem that could be with this is we'd have to modify those wheels, but then it doesn't want to open. The only way that works would be if we combined them after they were opened which still actually looks pretty darn good, right? I don't know how I feel about having two water wheels. We could knock one of these water wheels out and it could just be a guarded entrance. Sorry, just moving the camera, moving the castle. It could be a guarded entrance. But I don't know how I feel about an open entrance at ground level. Right there. To me, that's a little weak point of a castle fortress, if you will. Swing it all the way open. Which side goes up here? All right now, it's looking pretty, pretty large. I do like this. I don't like the two water wheels. And if I knock one of those water wheels out, I don't know how I feel about having this open. But again, comments down below would be much appreciated. Always love a good idea. 
So let's see if we can come up with another option with these castles. Just playing around, moving some stuff. Just kind of coming up with a little bit of a different layout. I don't know how I feel about this one. It does give a really nice courtyard in the middle. But again, now we got these two water wheels. The rock work is kind of identical. You have to play with that a little bit. Give a little bit of contrast in there. You guys let me know what you think the best option is. I thought I was going to go with my original plan. But after moving these castles around, I think I know which way I want to go down. Again, nothing is set in stone yet. Look forward to hearing what you guys think. And if you want to see more great castle builds, modifications, and mocks, don't forget to tune in to Saturday Shenanigans, which goes down, of course, Saturday, 7.30, Mountain Standard Time. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, and if you could, help a guy out and tweak that like button. Thanks for tuning in. Take care, stay safe. Hope to see you all in the shenanigans.